The American Association of Individual Investors welcomes you to this presentation of the Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series. Today we'll be discussing how to export data from Stock Investor Pro using the copy and paste feature from the Stock Notebook. While Stock Investor Pro is a robust stock screening and research database program, many users perform their own data manipulation and analysis in third-party programs such as Microsoft Excel. One way to extract the data from Stock Investor Pro and import it into a spreadsheet is by copying and pasting data from the Stock Investor Pro Stock Notebook. When you copy data from the Stock Notebook, you'll be capturing the active companies in the notebook, the data points in the loaded view, and the rank order of the companies in the Stock Notebook. So before you copy the data from the notebook, you need to decide three things. One, which universe of companies you wish to export. Two, which data points you want to export for the active companies in the stock notebook. And three, the order in which the companies are ranked. Each time you open Stock Investor Pro, you're presented with a stock notebook number one untitled. The Stock Notebook is the work area where you can browse a list of companies or in-depth information on an individual company. When Stock Investor first opens, the View tab of the Stock Notebook will contain all of the companies currently in the database, roughly 7,000 in all. The active companies in the Stock Notebook may also be the result of a stock screen or the companies in a loaded portfolio. The data fields displayed on the View tab, and thus the fields that you will be exporting, are determined by the loaded view. The default view when the program starts up is the standard view, which we see here in the View drop-down menu. If you want to change the data that is displayed in the View tab, you can select a different view from the View drop-down menu. Several different views are already built into Stock Investor and are indicated by an asterisk before the view's name. You can also create your own views using the view editor. The ranking order of the Stock Notebook is also displayed at the bottom left of the Stock Notebook. You can rank the contents of the Stock Notebook by either using the Rank function from the Tools menu or by right-clicking on the desired data field in the Stock Notebook in choosing ascending or descending order. As an example for this video, we are going to export the results of the pre-built John Neff screen. So we first select the Neff screen from the Screen drop-down menu. Selecting the screen from the drop-down menu will run the filters and load the passing companies into the stock notebook. As of January 15, 2016, 22 companies passed the Neff screen. Next, we are going to apply a custom NEF view that we ourselves created. This view is not pre-built into the software. The fields in this custom NEF view will be those that we will be exporting. Finally, we want to rank the passing companies in ascending order by the dividend adjusted peg ratio. This field is in the custom view that we have loaded, so we can right click on that field heading in the stock notebook and select the ascending rank order. We can confirm the ranking order by looking at the bottom left of the stock notebook. Now that we have our desired set of active companies and data fields, as well as the preferred rank order, we are ready to export the data directly from the stock notebook. To do this, right-click anywhere on the stock notebook to bring up the notebook drop-down menu. From this menu, click on Copy Notebook to Clipboard. If the stock notebook contains a large number of companies and data points, you may see a status bar as this information is copied to your computer's clipboard. When the copy process is complete, the data is stored on your computer's clipboard to be pasted into documents such as spreadsheets. To paste the data into Microsoft Excel, open a new Excel spreadsheet file. Click on the cell where you want the data to begin, click on Paste, and the copied data will be pasted into the worksheet. If you are copying a large amount of data, this process may take a few moments. Once the process is complete, 
the copy data with plain English data column headings will appear. Any null values from Stock Investor Pro appear as NAs in your spreadsheet file. You are now ready to run additional analysis on the data using your spreadsheet. This concludes this installment of the Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series. For more of these videos, visit the Stock Investor Pro area of AAII.com and select Video Tutorials from the important links menu. If you have any questions about this video or anything related to Stock Investor Pro, you can contact us via email at techsupport at AAII.com.